painting charge would depend on the area of this triangle. Welcome to the lesson on Heron's formula. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify Heron's formula and apply Heron's formula to determine the area of a triangle. Let's consider the triangle ABC. The lengths of its sides are A, B and C respectively. Can we use the basic formula half base into height to calculate the area of this triangle? The basic formula can be applied only if the base and the height of the triangle are known. When you know only the length of the sides of a triangle, we use Heron's or Hero's formula to calculate the area. Here A, B and C are the lengths of the sides of a triangle. S is the semi-perimeter of a triangle. The semi-perimeter, as the name suggests, is half of the perimeter and can be calculated as half of the sum of the lengths of the three sides. Let's consider a triangle. The lengths of its sides are 10, 7 and 9 centimeters. We'll use Heron's formula to calculate its area. First, let's calculate the semi-perimeter, which is half of the perimeter. This is equal to 13 centimeters. Next, let's substitute the values of the semi-perimeter and the lengths of the sides of the triangle in the formula. On simplification, we get the area of the triangle as 30.59 square centimeters. Just to recap, Heron's formula is used to determine the area of a triangle when the lengths of its three sides are known. Heron's formula is expressed in terms of the semi-perimeter of the triangle and the lengths of its sides.